A lot of folks got up this morning, went down to a church and sat through an hour of service early this morning somewhere, and that's it for the whole week. That's not enough. God wants seven-day-a-week Christians. He's not satisfied with this half in, half out, half on, half off, half hot, half cold. God wants us to live seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 60 minutes an hour, 60 seconds to a minute. He wants us to live with God and walk with God day by day. And if we do that, we have to stay in the Word of God every single day. Let me ask you a question. Um, how long has it been since you read the Bible, a chapter or two every day? Every day of the week, chapter 2 in the Bible, and feast upon it. Oh, you still... Now, by the way, here's a great danger. A lot of people get some little book that has one little verse at the top, and some sweet little Christian has, has written a paragraph, and that's their food. You better get your food from the Bible. There's a great danger in daily devotional books. A great danger. I'm not criticizing them, and, if you, and I'm not against your reading them. But what you better do, your devotional time. I'm talking about the time when you meet God. You better not be reading what somebody else says. You better be reading what God says. Somebody said to me, he said, Brother Howes, you know what I do for my devotions? I read Blue Denim and Lace, one of your books. I read a chapter of Blue Denim and Lace every day for my devotions. Now, I mean this. I think reading a chapter of Blue Denim and Lace would be good for you every day. But, brother, for your devotions, you better read the undiluted message from God. Amen. Read it. You say, I can't understand it. Okay, read it anyway. Read it anyway. 